Now, you may have seen on the channel that I love making cute little animal cake toppers that you can add onto the top of your cakes. I thought it would be really fun to show you how I made this cute little bunny rabbit holding this tiny little carrot. Okay, let's get started. So the things that we're gonna need in order to make our bunny rabbit is first of all, I've got my modeling paste. So for the modeling paste for this rabbit, I'm actually using the Saracino. Now I'm using a tub of white and I'm just coloring it to get those shades that we need, but you can also buy it pre-colored. Now, if you don't have a Saracino, you can also mix fondant with gum paste or maybe add some Tylose powder into your fondant. And you may have seen me use these techniques in some of my other character videos. You just want a modeling paste that's gonna firm up a lot firmer than fondant wood on its own. This is really gonna help your character keep its shape. Now, a Saracino can be quite hard when you first get it out the tub. You just wanna break off a small amount and when you start kneading these, it will soften up. For my rabbit, I want quite a light gray. So I'm just adding a small amount of black food gel to my Saracino know just to get the color that I'm looking for as you can see as we work that color through just how stretchy the Saracino is which makes it perfect for making little characters now the light gray which we're going to use for most of our rabbit you're going to need around 100 to 110 grams now as well as the gray I've also got a small amount of white a small amount of black some pink some orange and a tiny amount of sage green. Now I'm gonna be using this small little set of scales just to weigh out each of my elements so that I can tell you the size that you'll need. I've then got my dressing tool and some modeling tools. I've got my paintbrush which is filled with water and my craft knife. I've got some dusky pink edible tin. I've got a small flower plunger cutter, some edible glue, a cocktail stick, a bamboo skewer which I've cut down to around two and a half inches and a really small little paintbrush. Okay so I'm gonna be starting with with the rabbit's head and I've got 40 grams of that light gray so I want to start by rolling this into a ball just getting rid of any marks on the surface I then want to taper it down slightly just so I get an egg shape so it's slightly thinner at the top take the palm of my hand and just on that thinner end just push it down slightly now I want my rabbit to have quite large cheeks. So just using my thumb, I'm just pulling the side out and I can then push my fingers in. So we're just pulling out some cheeks on the side. I wanna flatten down the top half slightly. So just pushing in with my finger, just smoothing down any lines. And on the front, push down. This is where we're gonna add a small amount of modeling paste. I've then got a ball of my white modeling paste and this one measures two grams or just over a centimeter in diameter. I'm gonna squidge this down to give me a bit of a flatter back. And you want this to be an oval shape. Push down on one side so it will be slightly fatter at the top. I'm gonna to add on a small amount of water, push that into place just smoothing it down. Now to add in his nose, I'm gonna take my Dresden tool. We wanna push in with the end and just pull down to give us his little nose. And they're gonna draw a line from the center down. We can add in a little V at the bottom for a little smile. I'm then gonna drop in some little dots either side, just where the rabbit's whiskers would be. For his eyes, I'm gonna come up around half a centimeter from the edge of that front of his face and just add in two little oval marks. I've then got a very small amount of black and I'm gonna divide this into two to give me two identical sized Eyes. Rolling this into a ball, just tapering down slightly, give me an oval shape. I'm then going to use my water brush or you can use some edible glue. Just popping some water into those gaps that we made and dropping in those black ovals. Now I always like to add really tiny balls of white just into the centre of the eyes just to bring it to life. 
to highlight his nose and so you can see it a little bit better I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the dusky pink edible tint just on a really small brush and where we added those two little dents I'm just gonna push my brush in add a little bit over the top also just some on the side of his face just where his cheeks would be now to finish off the eyes I'm going to come up around a centimetre and just put two little dents in and this is going to be for the eyebrows. You then want to mix a tiny bit of black modelling paste with some of that light grey just to give us a slightly darker grey so that the eyebrows will stand out. Taking a small amount I'm going to roll this in the palm of my hand just tapering down both sides. Cutting each end down just so it's a few millimetres in length. I can then use some water or if you'd prefer to use edible glue. And you can use your dressing tool just to curve them round. Now the last thing that I do before I work on the ears is I'm going to take my bamboo skewer and just push this into the bottom. So this is just going to give us a hole so we'll be able to join our head onto his body. For his ears I've got two balls of the lighter grey and each of these weighs three grams or they're around a centimetre and a half in diameter. Now I'm going to take each of the balls and just taper them down on both sides. I can then flatten this out, keep that shape. On one of the ends I want this slightly thinner so I'm just pushing that nice and flat but making sure that it's still a point and you want to bring it out until it's around an inch and a half. And I'm going to do exactly the same to the other one. I'm then going to take my modelling tool that just has this teardrop shape on one side. I'm going to place it on the slightly fatter end and just curve that modelling paste around. So this is creating the inside of our rabbit's ear. Do exactly the same with the other one. To join these on the top of his head, I'm going to take the point at the end and just start by pushing in two little holes. Now I am going to need a cocktail stick to keep his ears upright. So first of all, I'm going to take a piece and break that off so it's just over an inch and push that into the bottom of the ear. Now I'm actually going to use some edible glue rather than water just because I want this to be a bit more secure and just push in my ear. With my dresden tool I'm going to go around the bottom. On the other side I want the ear to be folded over so I'm going to use a very small amount of cocktail stick and just start by pushing that into that hole and just adding on some edible glue. Push in my ear. First of all just smooth it down joining all of that modelling paste together and with this ear I want to pull it down and just fix it into place on the side of the head. Now you could have both ears upwards if you prefer. I've just got this one just coming down on the side. Now again taking some more of that dusky pink edible tint I'm going to use this inside his ear and on the other one I'm just going to tuck the brush inside where we folded it over. Now you could leave the head like this I'm actually going to add a few flowers just tucked at the bottom of the ear. So I've got a small amount of dark pink I've mixed some of this with some white to give me a slightly lighter pink and I've got some sage green. Now you could use a rolling pin, I'm just gonna flatten these out and using my flower plunger cutter, I'm gonna cut out a couple of dark pink ones and a light pink one. This is quite teeny, but I'm gonna use my dressing tool and just push some little marks into each of those petals and pull that round to create a little flower shape. Now with the sage green I'm going to pull off really small amounts, taper this down, just flatten that slightly and add in a line all the way down, pinching one end to give me a little leaf shape. So I'm going to make a few of those using some edible glue and just carefully pop those flowers into place. 
So there we have the rabbit's head. Now I'm gonna pop this to one side just to firm up slightly while I work on the body. I'm gonna start with a ball exactly the same size as we used for the head. So this is 40 grams and it's in the light gray. So again, I'm gonna roll that between my hands just getting rid of any marks. I'm then gonna taper this down and push that on our surface. Now at the top, I'm just gonna push down just so it's flatter so that we'll be able to join his head. Now I'm gonna take my small bamboo skewer, which I cut down to around two and a half inches. So this is gonna come out of his body and just give us enough to push the head on. Now, if you wanted to push the bamboo skewer into the cake, you could do this a lot longer and just place this on a dummy cake whilst you work on it. But I'm gonna pop the end of that into some edible glue and just push that into the body. I'm then gonna take a ball of white and this one is two grams, so around a centimeter in diameter. Squidge this down. Now you could use a rolling pin. I'm just gonna do this between my fingers just so I get an oval shape. I can then take my craft knife and just chop off the bottom and stick that in place. On the front, push in some little marks where his arms are gonna go. For his feet, I've got two balls of the light gray and these are six grams each. So they're about an inch across. So I'm gonna take the first ball, using my finger, I'm gonna push that in exactly halfway. The front is then gonna be a really large paw, so I'm just pulling that up, keeping it smaller at the bottom so we get a foot shape. And then on the other half, I'm gonna pinch this so it's flat. So we get a large ball on one side and we get a foot shape on the other. Now using my Dresden tool, I'm gonna to go around just to separate that little foot and make it stand out a little bit more. And I wanna push in two little marks just to give him some little toes. And I'm gonna bring those round onto the other side. Bring it back in my body. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on one side. Push on his leg so that we've got that paw coming up from the front. And we can just turn that out. Now, using my dressing tool, I'm gonna to run it down the side, just joining those two pieces together. So there we've got his first little foot. So I'm gonna do exactly the same to the other side. And I'm just gonna slightly bend the other foot the other way. Now for his front paws, I've got two small balls of that light gray and each one of these weighs two grams or is around a centimeter in diameter. So I'm gonna taper that off on one side and just pinch the bottom slightly. Give me a little hand. In exactly the same way as I did his feet, I'm gonna push in two little marks and I want his arms to start at the top and just curve round slightly. And again, in exactly the same way as I did before, I wanna join that together. So I'm just pushing down that edge. And I'm also gonna add in just a small little bend and do exactly the same on the other side. Now, what little bunny would be complete without a fluffy tail on the bottom? So I've got a small ball of white, and this one just measures a gram and a half, and it's just under a centimeter. So I'm gonna taper this down, and using my dressing tool, just run lines all the way up the outside, pulling it into a slight point at the top, and I can stick this on his bum. So there we have the rabbit's head and the body. Now I'm gonna leave these to one side until that body's firmed up slightly. Because of the weight of the head, if we were to put the head on the body too soon, it would push down onto the body and just squish it down slightly. So I'm gonna allow that body to firm up so that it will be able to take the weight of the head. Whilst that's drying, I thought it would be really fun to create a little carrot for our rabbit to hold. So I'm gonna take some orange modeling paste and I've just got a really small ball. This one is just over five millimeters in diameter. I'm gonna taper this down, just push it on one side to give me a point. I can then add a little hole into one end. And with my dressing tool, I'm just gonna go up the side 
just pushing in some little dents, just coming in from both directions to give me the texture of a little carrot. I'm then gonna take some of my green modeling paste, roll this out and taper down both sides. I'm gonna do this three times. And once we've got three pieces, I'm just gonna pinch these together. I'm gonna chop them off so we've got around half a centimeter. And taking some edible glue, I'm gonna pop that in the end, pushing them down with my Dresden tool. So that's gonna give us this really cute little carrot and just pop that on the front. Once that's been left to dry for a few hours, I'm just gonna add some edible glue onto the top and up that stick before popping on the head. So here we have the cute little bunny rabbit cake topper. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will find it useful if you wanna create a little bunny for your own cakes. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Bunny YouTube channel. I'll also put some links in the description below to some other animal cake toppers, including elephants and lions, monkeys and little teddy bears. So until next time, bye!